Hello, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to create some basic zones, uh, set up some interfaces, and allow communication between zones um, in your sonic wall. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing here is just to create a brand new zone. Um, so say for example you want to have a, a network that is split off from your existing LAN uh, for some servers or a phone system. Um, you can do this by creating a brand new zone just to separate it from the existing LAN zone and then just do communication between the zones um, to allow access. Um, so here I'm just going to create a new zone called phone system. Uh, this is going to be a trusted zone. You can change this to public if you want like an untrusted zone and then you can restrict access that way. Um, but th for this example it's going to be a trusted zone because it's our phone system. Um, we're going to enable just some basic security services here. Uh, just to turn these on because we want this zone to be protected. So once we have the zone we need to then assign an interface to this zone. Um, so I'm just going to go in here. Um, we're going to use the unassigned X2 interface. So you're going to open up the interface. You're going to select the phone system zone. Um, you can either create a brand new IP range for this zone or you can um, bridge it to the existing doing this and you can do a bridge mode to the existing X0 network um, and then you can just turn on access services here um, but for this example we're going to use um, static IP we're going to create a brand new subnet Once we have this, the interface set up um, and the IP address assigned, um, we can set up a new DHCP scope, um, which will, in most cases, automatically be created. Um, if you don't want D DHCP turned on and you want all of the devices to be static on this network, uh, you can just turn this off or uh, completely delete it. In order to allow communication between this new zone and your existing networks uh, and out to the internet, uh, it's going to check your uh, firewall policies. So, which one I make sure that the phone system can get out to the internet by checking the uh, phone system to WAN policy. Uh, this will allow, um, and this is enabled. Uh, we then want to check phone system to the LAN so that we can communicate to devices on the internal network that we already have set up. Um, that rule is already in place. If you want to block access, you can change this to deny. So if you have you know, an untrusted zone that has public servers um, that are only accessible from the internet and you don't want people on the LAN accessing these servers, you can you can do all of this in here. Um, and last, we just want to check from LAN to the phone system zone that we're allowing communication there as well. So um, now we have all the communication configured. Um, once you start putting devices online in this new zone, uh, you'll be able to ping across and communicate as long as you have it set up this way. Thanks again for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more videos as part of our Essentials series over the coming weeks. Thanks.